everybody and welcome back to the channel. For today's video we're going to be taking a look at the Transformers Legacy Core Class Bomb Burst, also known as Blood. One of the coolest characters I think we've seen for Core Class, and like I said in my review for their deluxe skull grin, Hasbro, keep these pretenders in the Core Class, it just makes them so much better in my opinion. But taking a look here at the packaging, we do get that Transformers Legacy artwork, a really nifty shot of the character in his jet mode, as well as this sick looking robot mode image, and as we come around to the back we get some pretty nifty product shots so with that being said let's throw this cardboard prison out and actually take a look at bomb burst himself and here we have the mighty little bloodsucker himself and this is why the pretenders should always be kept at core class they're a perfect skill they look fantastic and i mean they've got to be some of the best core class figures that we've seen hasbro release so far i mean this guy looks cracking and what a perfect character to be taking a look at in the month of halloween as you guys can see in terms of detail a great blend of the original pretender shell this time round with its own distinctive robot mode i love the concept i think it looks great here for bomb burst the head sculpt looks terrific i mean check out the paint details i want to suck your blood we get some really nice painted teeth a cheeky tongue smack bang in the center of the mouth as well as some pretty menacing golden glowing eyes and some fairly nice detail for the ears i think the chest looks wicked with these really menacing claws kind of grasping around the chest piece and the arm design as well just the colours in general look fantastic. Super nice sculpt work. I love these massive arm cannons that we have here on the sides. We've got some highlighting for the wrist and the leg design as well. Just looks so nicely done. This looks sick. Such a wicked little figure. And as we come around to the back, barely any excess vehicle mode kibble. And they've actually gone to the extent of sculpting in and painting some additional turbine detail. Now, as far as the articulation goes, we do get a swivel here at the head. Sadly, no draw articulation. And I kind of think they wanted to add that as there does appear to be a seam here but it's okay we do get some ball joints out of the arms which can rotate the full 360 hinge out to the sides ball joints out of the elbows which move exactly how you would expect them to as well as an amazing waist rotation which can rotate the full 360 which is really cool the hips can kick forwards that far as well as back to that far out to the sides we do get a ball joint here out of the knee which can bend to 90 as well as rotate left to right and the feet i mean this actually puts to shame some deluxe figures not only can it pivot forwards and backwards but we get an amazing ankle rocker side to side and all of this detail that you guys can see on the knee is actually painted and i think it's come out really crisp and clean so definitely such a fantastic core class is it better than iguanas i'm not too sure maybe so now as far as accessories go this guy actually comes with three three accessories for a core class we get these massive blue cannons which attach onto the sides of the arms they can actually be removed and act as clubs which I thought was a pretty good reuse of them or we can set them off to the side and utilize this almost axe weapon which I believe is a direct throwback to the original G1 pretender toy and yeah pretty decently sculpted a little bit too small in my opinion I much prefer these weapons but yeah it's a nice inclusion and like I said three accessories for a core class we're lucky if we get one with a deluxe now as far as some weapon storage goes we can take the nose cone hinge this section here out to the back we can take this club and it will find itself slotting into this tab so let's just snap this here into place it can definitely be a little fiddly to do so but it will peg in we can also remove the guns and snap them into these sections as we've got these massive mech tech ports i know how much you guys like it when i refer to these ports as mech tech ports and that is weapon storage for bomb burst when in bot mode not the greatest as we do have this big section jutting out to the side but honestly not the worst i've ever seen so with all that being said let's bring out some comparisons and see how he actually stacks up amongst some of our other legacy pretenders so first up here we have bomb burst alongside what was the goat of all the core class figures that being iguanas and i think he's been slightly overthrown by bomb burst i mean this guy actually comes with accessories which match the character whereas they gave iguanas this kind of fork thing which was just completely ridiculous and it was a gimmick that they abandoned after wave two so no idea what they were thinking when they gave him that weapon but very nicely done looking figures i mean to think that these are roughly ten dollars in terms of a price point is pretty freaky i mean these have got to be some of the best core slash legend scale figures that we've ever seen and i'm loving them actually fusing the pretender shell with their own distinctive robot mode it's just a shame that the deluxe counterpart didn't turn out so good and talking of here we sadly have the runt of the 
litter. At least as far as these pretenders go, the deluxe class Skull Grin. Now, as you guys can see, he sticks out like a sore thumb. Why they made these two guys core class and this figure a deluxe class is completely baffling to me. They've literally thrown skill right out of the window. But as far as price point and enjoyability goes, the core class figures win hands down to me. I mean, this was a really nice looking robot mode, but the tank mode for what it was, was atrocious. It had a very complex transformation, which resulted in something which was a brick. Now, had they shrunken Skullgrin down to the core class, I think many of the issues that I had with this guy, I would have been able to forgive as he was a much cheaper and smaller figure. But as it stands, I mean, why is he much bigger when compared to these guys? And like I said in my Skullgrin review, if they are going to continue these pretenders, please keep them in the core class. I think not only do they look better, but they are just better in general, at least in terms of my own personal opinion. And for one final comparison, here we have him alongside the core Shockwave, as well as the Legacy Evolution Scrap Hook. Now, turning to transformation, you would think the robot mode looks fantastic. Surely for a core class, it can't get any better. Well, hold on to your horses, as trust me, this guy's about to really surprise you. So to kickstart things off, you're going to want to come around here to the back, extend the nose cone up and over, and it will actually click over the top of the ears. We can now take the weapons, spin those around, just like this. You'll then want to rotate here at the waist and basically just collapse the heel spurs into the soles of the feet and then for some finishing touches, yes, finishing touches already. This guy is so simplistic. These tiny tabs are going to snap into these slots. So let's just click that into place and do the same here for this side. Collapse the feet up against the base of the head and then we can take the axe weapon and much like when I showcase the storage this is just gonna slide into place which to be honest is the most trickiest part about the transformation and it will just snap in there and there are basically some tiny little cutouts that will groove into this tab it doesn't really stay in all that well to be honest but it's okay and there we have bomb burst fully transformed up into his jet mode and i mean come on this is sick transformation so simplistic yet results in a very nicely done looking jet mode and again these core class pretenders some of the best i've handled for the line so far so as you guys can see we get a very nice almost blood red cockpit which i think looks fantastic super glossy some nice turbine details and those huge wings that we took a look at earlier on in the video which originally acted as these guns and we also do get the axe weapon doubling as an almost front cannon so definitely a very nice looking figure now if i were to be critical like i said these don't really hold in all that well i mean it would have been cool had there been a tab on the inside of this which would have slotted into this section just to solidify that but in all i mean it's okay very nice looking jet mode in my opinion. Now for some comparisons, here we have Bomb Burst again alongside the core class Iguanas, which is surprisingly actually standing up on both wheels, something which it was reluctant to do in my Skullgrin review. So even Iguanas thinks that Bomb Burst is better, but as you guys can see, definitely in that core scale, I think these guys look pretty nifty with one another. And then finally, we will bring out Skullgrin. And now we've brought out Skullgrin, this guy doesn't want to stand up, so... That is saying something. As you guys can see, here we have all of our pretenders so far. And again, why does Skullgrin stick out like a sore thumb? It would have been way cooler had this been a smaller tank to compare alongside these two cool little dudes. And for one final comparison, here we have them alongside the core class Shockwave. Just so you guys can see how these two roughly stack up with one another. And so, wrapping up on this review for the Transformers Legacy Core Class Bomb Burst. In all, fantastic for the price point and for the scale class. I mean, this thing definitely puts to shame the Deluxe Skull Grid, in my opinion, and probably the vast majority of the Deluxes that we saw from Wave 3. I mean, for the most part, I think it's pretty flawless. The bot mode looks fantastic. I've always been a massive fan of them actually fusing the Pretender with the robot mode. I think that's a great idea, in my opinion, and the Core Class so far has been executing it so damn well. Is this guy better than iguanas i'm gonna say yes and iguanas already set the bar super high and the reason why he's better is in terms of accessories i mean he actually comes with weapons which have something to do with the character and not just this throwaway energon combining gimmick that they thought about for a couple of waves and then completely scrapped i think the articulation for the skull point is awesome the detail and the paintwork's wicked transformation super simplistic yet results in a pretty terrific looking jet mode i mean this thing actually puts to shame some leaders and voyagers and legacy 
see Blitzwing, I'm looking at you. So, yeah, if you're a fan of Core Class, a fan of Pretenders, then this is a really nicely done figure, and especially if you're a fan of Iguanas. But if you liked Skullgrin, then maybe you're not going to like this one, as in my opinion, they're from two different worlds. I mean, Skullgrin, I just think is pretty trash compared to this figure. But anyhow, let me know down in the comment section below what you guys think, and until my next review, I'll see you then. Thanks for watching.